it's Susan Jones and welcome back to my Sunday Spotlight. This week we are kicking off my summer series, which means for the next five weeks, every Sunday in June, I will be focusing on an outdoor game that you can put a little academic twist on. For the first game, it is called Bean Bag Edition. You don't really need much prep, all you need is some space outside, some sidewalk chalk, and some bean bags, like so. Let's see how to play. Now, of course, I'm doing this series because, you know, outdoor games, beautiful weather, and I'm even wearing a little, you know, sleeveless top here, but it is actually about 55 degrees, rainy and cold, so there's that, but we're going to go ahead and roll with it anyways. I went outside and drew a grid. I'll put it right here. This is what the game board will look like for Beanbag Edition, and then I also, I don't know if you can see it in this picture, I'll try to find one and add it here. I drew like a little line for students to stand behind. For this game, all you're going to need are two teams. You can have two people on a team and have like partnerships. You could even have a team of four, it's up to you. And you'll want four beanbags per team. I'll go ahead and link these ones below. I found them on Amazon. Um, I liked them because it has four blue and four red in one pack. And basically students will stand behind that throw line and they will go ahead and throw the beanbag to try to have it land in the circle. After each team has successfully landed their beanbags in the circles, they will go ahead and add up the numbers and find out which sum is higher and that team is the winner. As you can see, I made a grid of 15 circles. They're probably about three feet in diameter. Um, and I went ahead and drew numbers that were 10 and less inside the big circles. And then because of the way I drew it, because I'm just kind of freehanding it, I had a lot of space in the middle of those circles. So I made smaller ones and those circles had higher numbers. So I think I had 10s and 20s kind of spread out amongst the grid. Seeing as this game is pretty simple, I do like to have students stand behind that throw line to make it a little trickier. And I also let students know that their whole beanbag needs to be inside one of the circles for it to count. There's plenty of empty space around the circles and on the outside of the grid that if they don't get their beanbag inside, it counts as zero. So you can really do this two ways. You can have them continue to throw beanbags until each player gets one in the circle, or you can have it so that team players only get one chance, and if they miss and they don't get it in a circle, it just counts as zero. As with all my Sunday Spotlight games, I like to make it easy to differentiate for both the students and the teachers. So for this, all you can do is change the numbers inside the circles. You can have those numbers be smaller, you can have them be higher, you can have students multiply the numbers together, you can even add in some negative numbers like I did in Shootin' Hoops, the game I shared a couple weeks ago. I'll link that up here below, it's a pretty similar indoor game. If you're doing this with a whole class, you can kind of separate the grids. You can make three or four different grids that you can have students rotate through, or you can have your students working on higher numbers over here, lower numbers over here, it's totally up to you. Because this is a quick and easy game, I would definitely have students play best of five, best of ten, and have them play this over and over and see who wins the most times. If you happen to be doing this at home with just one child, what I would do is have them use the different color bean bags and see which color had the higher sum. And I would have them do that and compare with greater than and less than symbols too, especially if you're in first or second grade, that would be a great and easy practice for you. Or of course, if you're the mom or dad, you can just hop in there and try to beat them as well. That's something I would do. And that's how you play Beanbag Edition. As always, my goal is to make very simple and easy games for you to basically require no prep and go right in and play them with your students. So if you are happen to still be in school right now, you can go head outside and get students moving around and practicing their math skills. If you are not in school and have a kid at home, you can practice this with them. Or if you happen to start school pretty early next year and you want to get students reviewing, this would be another game to play outside as well. Thanks for tuning in. As always, if you liked this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know you like this game. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell. That way you're notified of my videos every single week. I'll see you back here next Sunday with another outdoor game for my summer series. Bye.